Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. Today's class we will be discussing how to find the linear convolution of two sequences using circular convolution. That is how to find the result of linear convolution by performing circular convolution. So let's see. Here I am taking two sequences x of n which is having length l and my second sequence is h of n which is having length m. So let the result that is the circular convolution result be y of n. The length of y of n will be equal to l plus m minus 1. So this is the length of your resultant sequence. So you know that the first and foremost criteria for performing circular convolution is that the length of the two sequences must be same. That is in order to perform circular convolution you should have the length of your first sequence that is x of n and your second sequence h of n should be equal and in this case that is here I am going to find the linear convolution and the result of my sequence that is my linear convolution result is equal to l plus m minus 1. So we are going to find the linear convolution using circular convolution. So what we will do is we will make the length of the two sequences that is x of n and h of n equal to l plus m minus 1. So here we are going to change this l to l plus m minus 1. Also this m length is changed to l plus m minus 1. So this thing you have to do before performing the circular convolution. Then Simply you can take the circular convolution by applying the matrix method and you can find the linear convolution. We are going to do an example to find the result of linear convolution using circular convolution. Let my first sequence that is my x of n be x of n equal to set 1, 2, 3 and 1. And my second sequence h of n equal to set 1, 1, 1. So here I have taken this x of n and this h of n. The length of the first sequence that my l equal to what is the length 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 4. Now what is your m? That is the length of your second sequence is 3. So you are L is 4 and M is 3. Now, if your resultant sequence is Y of N, what will be the length of your resultant sequence according to the equation that is equal to L plus M minus 1 that is 4 plus 3 minus 1 which is nothing but 6. So, your Y of N will have a length of 6. Now, you have to do one thing that is you have to make the length of your x of n which is this and h of n which is this set to 6. So here there are 4 elements. So you have to add zeros to make it up to length 6. So your new x of n will be set 1, 2, 3, 1 remaining zeros are added to make it equal to 6. So this is having a length of 6 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, make your h of n to length 6. There are 3 ones. You have to add remaining 3 zeros. Circular convolution of my two sequences to new sequences to obtain the linear convolution result. So here I have uh, taken the matrix method. To do the circular convolution and if you don't know about the circular convolution or about the matrix method please do watch the video on circular convolution i'll share the uh, link in my description box okay so here this is the matrix method circular convolution this is your first uh, set or first input this is your second input you have rearranged the first uh, input matrix uh, and multiplied it with the second input matrix Okay, so simply by taking this uh, matrix multiplication, you can find the result. Okay, I'll do the matrix multiplication and I'll write the result here. So, 1, so take this column and multiply with this, sorry, take this row and multiply with this column. So, that is 1 into 1 is 1 plus 0 plus 0 
plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. So your result is 1. Okay. For the second row, 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Okay. Now, for the third row, 3 into 1 is 3 plus 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Okay. For the fourth row, take this fourth row and multiply this with, with this column. That is 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Anyway, last three elements will be 0 because here it is 0. For the fifth row, it is 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. And for the last row, you have 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Okay. So, find this result and you will get your linear convolution output. So this is your new x of n and h of n. You have now changed the length of both this sets equal to 6. Now take the circular convolution. You can apply Betrix method. So for the first, the first column, the first element is 1. I'll write the result as y of n here. Set, this is a 1. 1. Second one is 2 plus 1, rest is 0, that is 3. Now, 3 plus 2 plus 1, rest is 0, that is 5 plus 1 is 6. Here also 1 plus 3 plus 2, that is 5 plus 1 again, 6. Here it is 3 plus 1, remaining 0, that is 4. And last one is a 1. So, this is your linear convolution result. So, here... We have found the linear convolution of two sequences by applying the matrix method circular convolution. So we can find the matrix method circular convolution of two sequences and we can obtain the result of linear convolution if you are going to make the length of the two sequences equal to L plus M minus 1. That is, that is if you are performing zero padding to the input sequences to make its length equal to L plus M minus 1, you can find the result of linear convolution. So this is a very simple method. You don't have to go for graphical method, uh, linear convolution, which I have done in my previous video. Okay, we can find it, uh, find the uh, linear convolution result using the graphical method, but it is a lengthy process. If you know this method, by simply performing circular convolution, you can obtain the result of linear convolution. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you understood how to find the linear convolution of two sequences using circular convolution. And if yes, please do share this video with your friends and family. And also, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel also. Thank you.